I think it's Chanel. I think it's Chanel. I should look this up before I started, really. Hello, I'm Darker of 80, and welcome to a game called The Shano House Trilogy. Now this is a trilogy. <laughs> the first part being Inhale, which we're going to be playing in this video. Fun stuff, right? So this is another game where, I don't know if you watched the Into Dark video, but this is another game where I just had a, a random Steam key, had no idea what it was. I, um... What's the word? I activated it, installed it. Didn't read a description, didn't watch a tra trailer, didn't see any reviews. I thought I'd just, yeah, jump straight in and see what it's all about without being all sceptical about what other, what other people say. So let's inhale. Am I allowed so, to exhale? Good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news, the blizzard's finally stopped. Yay! But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Oh, no, nothing new there. Just what we need, some good old-fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. Okay, well my windows already closed, that's fine. And right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, Here's Forever by Nervous, by Nervous Test Pilot. Pilot. Okay, okay. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Stopped to, to, to see him? What, like, aren't what? Your, your, your boyfriend? Your therapist? Um, your... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it was a point and click game, okay? Like I said, I literally knew nothing about this game, just jumped straight into it. It looks a lot but I think it might actually be the same engine what Cappy Rain was made on. It looks a lot like Cappy Rain. Okay, so we've got a bookcase. Okay, so let's start, let's start looking around, shall we? Perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. Playing a game? But I thought there were books. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's games. Sure. Radio. I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Yeah, fair enough. So do I. Is that a crow? Not a real crow. It's a phone. A phone? It looks, like, it looks like a crow to me. I don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. All right. You have two new messages. That's like Mr. Message Pressing. Received today at 1:18 p.m. Congratulations! You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? And this is New York, kids. I'm interested. Not interested. <laughs> I've always, I always pronounced it as catacombs. Today I probably won there. 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. <sighs> I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. Dad. He'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. So not a, not, you. <laughs> so not, not, not a boyfriend or a therapist message. or anything like that. Okay. I didn't call, <laughs> Mom, because I knew you would be there. And I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know right. why. Please don't hate me. All right. Oh. Screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Mm, right. I prefer if you call it call her now, Missy. It's a bad morning it. comes. Talking to myself. <laughs> my therapist says it's my desire for an audience. For company. <laughs> therapist. I say it's Knew because it. I constantly feel like I'm being watched. Breaking the fall fall nicely there. Alright then. <laughs> but ser ser seriously, move, move to one side. That's definitely a crow. Well, shit. It's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. Okay, interesting. Who's been replacing your cabinets with, lo with, with locked ones? If I was drinking coffee or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. So what do you feel like doing? Are you going to actually- I was walking through Washington Square Park the other day when I saw a woman having a long animated conversation with herself, apparently. <laughs> Nobody else around, but she was really going at it, arguing with air almost. She's a redhead like me too, a bit oh. older though, and you know what I realized? That's me, that is, when I eventually get fired from the station and end up missing talking to you guys so much that I just go full throttle talking to myself instead. So to the anonymous woman talking to herself in Washington Square Park, I salute you. 
You gave one insecure DJ some hope for the future. <laughs> all right then, all right then. Oh, people in this town is crazy. What, were we in New York? Yeah, people are crazy in New York, right? I don't know. Don't, don't know anyone in New York. behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Oh, it's probably a sock or something. <laughs> no, and no one else finds socks behind radiators? No? Alright then. Reach it? Do you, have, do you have to try and find something to reach it with? I don't know. Let's have, come, on, come on looking around for now. I mean, I don't find socks behind radiators. No, no, no. No. Now, I'm sure it's here for a reason. What note? What, what, does the, what does the note say? Power on. Good idea. Alright. Five minutes later. Scratched out face. Yet you still have it as a, as a background? Scribbled out face. Nope. Not changing it. Let me have this one childish act of rebellion. Alright. So is this like someone you don't like on that pitch here? You decide to put it as a background? Sure. Alright then. I'm not changing it. I kind of like bitter reminders. Oh, okay then, okay, fair enough, okay. What have you got open? You've got Chrome and Firefox open. You've got, what looks like Steam there? Sticky notes. Just the folders. I don't know. Don't know what that, well, don't know what that is. Doggo! It's that Doggo, well, I'm Sam! I'm tempted to put it in the microwave. I think I'll leave it here for now. What? I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. What? You put a, put a dog in the what? <laughs> you put a dog? A, 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 a dog figurine in a mic? What are you going on about? Am I just really that weird and don't do these things? Maybe. There's something stuck up by the light bulb. I might be able to fish it out. Well then go for it. Ah, got it. Okay. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. What? A ten foot extendable ladder with stand and carry case. I'll just put it back. What? That's a parcel in- what? <laughs> I am so confused! There's a parcel in a lamp. A ten- what? A ten foot ladder case was that? What? Right, let's do this. Let's do what? What are we doing? Oh look, drama as my favourite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever. I've always loved his writing. Very personable. Makes me feel like I know the guy. I wonder if they oh, did another well, game no that got a low review. <laughs> Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Okay. Yeah, of course. Pretty... I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it, what did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh, yeah. On the night? The night? Ah, here it is. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Can I use this somehow? Can, no? Nah. Nah? Nah? What, what, what? <laughs> How the hell do you use the password? How the hell do I get out of here? I don't know, I'll come back to it. Oh no, this game's weird. Can I get, can I get whatever it is behind the radiator? There's something. Ah, got it. Parcel I hadn't opened. Let me yet. guess. It also a ten foot. Ten, ten foot. DVD no? of strangers on a train. All right. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. Don't put it back behind the radiator. You've got a ten foot ladder in the lamp. I don't know how that how that works. It must be the well, It must be a massive lamp. Eleven foot. Eleven foot ladder. Ugh. It'd be like, be like twelve foot ninjas or something behind there. I don't know. Safer. Sure. Yeah. I'll go to bed at seven in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. I've done that before. <laughs> what are you doing? What? 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 We, we got this note here. I don't know what the we're doing. Walks it. Walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Time to read. Nobody else around, but she was really going at it, arguing with air almost. She was Let's do this then. Too. Okay. Older, though, and you know, and you know what I realized? That's me. That is. Got an inhaler? Nah, let's not get sidetracked with minor things like asthma. Let's not. I haven't thought about this book in years. I doubt it's the one. Alright, what were what, 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 what we after? A special occasion. What's this? Sanctum? Alright then. I can't read this. Obviously, because it's all the shame pixely. Of seeing the due date. <laughs> Since I haven't read it, it's 
Probably not this one. All right, all right. By applying the principles of objectivism to this, I can discern it isn't the book I'm after. All right. Well, if, I, if I'd be able to read it properly, then I'd, I'd be able to sit, sit, this, get the right one. It's gonna that. be the last one, isn't it? It's gonna be this one. It's gonna be this one. It could be this one. Yeah. I should double check the title. Because it says the ch 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 now, ch ch now, ch 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 now, ch now, ch now house. It could be this one. I should double. Okay. As shown in Horowitz's 2003 essay, this is the wrong book. This is the wrong book. She's so witty. The writer walks. Nah. Hmm. It could be this one. I should double check the title. Louis Cassell's *The Charnel House Burial*, my prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. Okay. Oh, Cassell. You are a strange and troubled man. I wonder whatever happened to you. For your graduation. I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. Alright. Argo Peak 1318. Let's go back. That's a really long, convoluted way of getting a password, but eh, fair enough. Now I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. Oh, I know, right? The next train is in for two weeks. Crazy. I can't wait that long. My tra my travel back from work yesterday. What? It. The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature. And even I would have remembered signing for it today. Looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Great! Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. Maybe. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? Can't you just buy the tickets on the train? Sometimes you can do that. Oh, hello there. Now it's storming. Now this is going to be fun making my way to the station by midnight. I think that's the least of I'm your not worries. Being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. Okay. All right. So, is it, so I think the least of your worries uh, there they of the of a storm. There seems to be seems to be someone on your on your sofa there. Okay. Yeah, what what are we doing? Some some sort of game. We we clicked on the bookcase before and we said that you could do what play a game. So let's click on this. Is, it, is, it, is there a game? There's no games here. So what am I, what am I doing? Never mind. Pot plant. There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. Ah, got it. The parcel I hadn't opened yet. Well, uh, Let's see. You just hide in so parcels you want everywhere. To give up smoking, a self-help book by I Burnett. Kinda wish I hadn't found this now. <laughs> I'll just put it back where it I was. Stop putting things back to it where they were. Oh dear. Special delivery. I don't really want to wear a coat indoors. Why not? Have you, have you got an indoor coat known as a gown, dressing gown? Because I live in them. <laughs> I'm, I'm currently. I, I actually tried to be a little, a little bit more professional by not wearing my dressing gown and put my hoodie on instead. <laughs> okay, let's sit down sure, and sofa. Yeah, I'll go to bed at seven in the evening. It's a sofa. That'd Don't you have a bed? Pathetic. I mean, sofa something that you, 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 you nap on if you if you ran a, ran a friend's house or something. Yeah, sure. If you insist, stomach. I'll grab some food. Okay. Okay, good. And she's only got a lot taller by walking through that door. Three pickled onions and a slice of bread. What a fucking fantastic dinner. Wonderful. Alex, do the shopping from time to time, yeah? Well, it's better than, than having another meal of bread and pull up. Uh, window. The snow might have stopped, but it's Just... still utterly freezing. I'll pass, thanks. Uh, Alright, what else can we do in here then? Play, can, can, we, can we play a game on here? I assume so. PC gamer and all that, right? Can we, can we click on Steam? No? Keyboard? Can we click on anything? What's that? What's in sure. through this door? I could use a shower. Alright then. 
10, only 10 minutes? Wow, you have quick showers. I spend ages in a shower. <laughs> I just kind of just stand there and just think about life and <laughs> <laughs> and then I tend to like, it, it, and then I tend to like sit down on the plug hole and just let the water rise. <laughs> I've always done that. Ever since I was like a little kid. You know, she doesn't doesn't want to be going out. I know that much. I've got no desire to. Yeah. All right. The E key sticks, and there's a cigarette burn on page up, but I can't bring myself to part with it. <laughs> I don't know why, really. All right then. Odd. My uh, control. Um. Control and uh, control and and the button that makes your keyboard like lighter and darker has gone down, and I've got a burn on my mouse. I don't know if you ever see it. I can't even reach it that far to to, to um to to reach the uh, webcam. But yeah, I've got a burn. I got yeah, I've got a nice burn mark right where my thumb thumb lies on my on my mouse. It's great. Um, a mouse. I really want a gaming one. Gavin always used to go on about the joy of basic no frills hardware. First thing tomorrow, I'm ordering a gaming mouse. <laughs> Fair, they don't really make much difference. Just look, they just look cooler. So, so, so I'm sure they have like a, I don't know, they're smoother, they've got more buttons and stuff, but do you really need it? No. <laughs> I mean, I use the M4 button quite often to in games, but that's about it. Uh. I have no idea how to progress. You know what? I think this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. This idea is so stupid that it might just work. Fit in the gap? Fit in the gap? Fit in the gap of what? I've been clicking around for ages, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I just like, how the hell do I progress? And I picked up a dog and she said, fit in the gap. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Here goes. Okay. <laughs> it fits perfectly. Of course it does. Oh shit, the tail's just snapped off. Oh no. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. Oh. I've been hunting around for ages. Oh my god, okay. I'm not closing it again after all that. Well, what do you, do you take something take something out of it? <laughs> right, let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. Right. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. Right. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. Yeah, I can never go with, some, with a crappy horror. Go wrong with crappy horror? Actually, you can. But sometimes they're so good that, that sometimes, sometimes they're so bad they're good. One hour later. What are you watching? I'm curious. Huh? Shit. I fell asleep. That good, huh? Huh. <laughs> On eight. Phone's ringing. Well, you better answer it then. Who could it be? So probably just someone breathing at the end of the other end of the phone. Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob, hi. Oh. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. He's got Thank the tickets. You. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. Uh-oh. The delivery bet man signed it and left <laughs> it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. You can do this. Your phone's ringing again. <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Hello? Yes? This is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Thank you. What was that all about? breathe. I can't fucking breathe. What's wrong? Uh, her dad was in hospital. Her dad's now dead. Yes? No? 
You alright there? Hey? Everything alright? I don't want to be looking at this. Go away. <laughs> oh, kicked out this game. Maybe I do want to be looking at this. Yeah? Oh, inhaler. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> you okay? Hi, you hey Rob? Alex. Jesus, how bad is this storm? Jesus. Oh, hey, are, are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. Sorry. It'll be Why all right. Sorry? I, I just need <laughs> to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Yeah. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah, seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You Robert. only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. <laughs> I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. do you and need honestly, us? honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... No, it's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. Thanks, Rob. Rob it. Sorry, but if anyone's called Robert, Wait, but it always just sounds like a frog to me. I here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob, I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. Days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call mom tomorrow, too. Okay. Outside, the city begins to withdraw. A siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. Oh, I like her. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. Mm, true. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Is this weird flickering person? Why don't you go flick off somewhere somewhere else? You're not wanted here. It's snowing again. It's nice to see. And you're you're, you're still like wearing nothing but a t-shirt. The snow is still falling. It's a clean, crisp night. Just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. Damn you! You have like weird train times. But yeah, I was, I was up to just can say what I, what I was saying. But yeah, I went to catch my bus last night after leaving off work at like ten past ten, and there was meant to, there was meant to be a bus at a uh, not bus train at twenty past ten, and it cancelled without even you know notifying me about this. There was no cancellation sign on the big like screen saying, well, where, 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 all the times that the trains part and stuff. So I was just waiting around for ages, and then finally, a train back home, midnight. That was fun. But um, yeah. So after them saying it's now midnight, 
but uh, that, that, that's the final train of the night and I was thinking, please, please just be a train, I want to go home, but yeah, so two hours after I finished work and finally got, finally got a bloody train, trolley. The porter can get it when the train pulls in. Oh, alright then. What are we doing then? I probably I shouldn't for train. start playing on the tracks. You sure? Why not? Oh, watch Stand By Me. <laughs> so, hey, you been waiting long? I, uh, I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. That long, huh? Tell me about it. <laughs> I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. Yep. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Oh. Great. Great. Yeah. So, uh, where are you headed? A little port town. Last stop. <laughs> Me too. Convenient. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to Auger, Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. <laughs> Archaeologists, I reckon. I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah, I won't pry any further. But, you know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. Alright then. <laughs> Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. Yep, you can also hear it. It's going to be a long, boring journey. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. Mm, dear. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. So I quite mm. enjoy train journeys, just laying back, relaxing, listening to the the sound of the train. This is like the slowest train in the world. Is it actually going to... Do I have to do something or am I literally just waiting for it? It's a bit too big to carry around. What? I didn't tell you to, to steal it and take it off the wall. It's gone midnight. Feels like I've been here forever. <laughs> Alright. I'm not walking away. I'm here now. There's no turning back. Alright then. I can see the train coming. It'll be nice to get in out of the cold. Yeah, I bet. Maybe you should, like, you know... Oh, I, I'm one to talk because I, I never wear coats, but maybe you should wear a coat. I'm a t-shirt and hoodie person no matter what time of year it is. <laughs> the charnel house burial? I don't remember bringing this. Okay. <laughs> he wants a book. Want I a book? Guess, I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Alright. Hey. 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 You can take this. What are you talking I've already read it. Pulp horror fiction. Yeah. Sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he. Oh, and the train finally turns up, eh? Looks like this is us. It is indeed. What did you drop on the floor? It's a rickety old train, isn't it? I love it. And it opens up by itself. Oh, no. Two passengers. <laughs> well, this is my lucky day. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. Gloria. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. All right then. Off you go now. All right. What's all on the floor? I feel like it was something important. Obviously, it's not because the game wouldn't let me pick it up. But you know, something just fell out, out out of one of their pockets. Well, well. What's this then? Oh, he's gonna pick it up. Who's our cute little doggy? Cute little doggy. I know just who'll like this. <coughs> Settle down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. 
Play dog in the bag. That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. You'll good writer. Listen soon and you'll be back home before you know it. What? Who is this conductor? I reckon so. Person. Not a conductor. What you what, what call it? Maybe he's a conductor. What the hell? Night train it just disappears. Everything disappears. What 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 is going on around here? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> that entire okay. That, that entire episode chapter, whatever you want to call it, was that was, that was a bit weird. <laughs> I mean, the first the first the first reason why I thought that something was weird was because of. Uh, they managed to find, put a ten, ten foot ladder behind a lamp, but that's got to be some. That's got to be a reference to something, right? It's got to be. I just, I, I, I'm just not picking it up. Um, not the ten foot ladder. I'm trying to lift that up. Be back in, back in the ceiling. Be a hole in the roof. Um, but I'm clumsy. It'll happen. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to play the, the last, the last two. Uh, there, there'll be three videos. Then I'll do, a, I'll do an episode per video. Um, I I have no idea what to say about all of this. It's I don't even know what 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 we doing. Where are we going? I mean, I know where we're going, but why we why we going there? I don't know. What, I don't know what we're doing. It is it's really weird, and I assume I assume that the 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 call was her dad dying or something like that. I assume that's what it was. Um, I I yeah, this there yeah, just just yeah. This is this is really weird, <laughs> really really weird. Um, let me know what you thought of this in the comment section below. Um, I haven't really got much more to more to say about this. I'm just I'm, I I I am definitely definitely um intrigued to see where it, how how this the, how this uh, game follows how the story follows. Um, and yeah. So yeah, so thank you so much, so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, I'm stuttering like crazy. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you already, and I shall see you all in the next video. Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> this is so odd. So very odd.